Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Diablo 3. And last time we took down Belial and made our way to Act 3. And here, we're supposed to reinforce... Or reinforce. If I can manage to speak properly, that'd be beneficial, I guess. We're going to reinforce Bastion's Keep. And in order to do that, first of all, we need to raise all the signal fires to... Get the, like the heavens, soldiers some more We're down motivation. to four lads until reinforcements arrive. Trouble is, the lift stopped. You can't see what went wrong through all the muck down there. This sounds ominous. Oh, what now? One of the brutes from below, Captain. What do we do? Private, if you need to be told which end of the sword goes where, you haven't been paying attention. Point to your last breath, Always man. a funny line, no matter how many times I hear it. <laughs> Yeah, so basically our plan now is we're going to improve defenses on the keep. And to do that, we have to go help some of these soldiers up. And while we're here, we need to raise some catapults so that we have some way of defending ourselves so that, you know, I don't have to keep saving them. The lift is moving again. Hold steady, Yeah, lads. the lift isn't in here, which is what way. I thought the first time I saw it. The lift's actually over here. I don't know if that makes me an idiot or Demons. what, but... Get ready, men! Victory! The demons are dead. <laughs> and now I can equip some new shoulders, finally. I've been using those pieces of junk for long enough. Much better. Now, now well, I'll kill some enemies first. Let's get you guys out of the way. My uh, enchantress has some new skills to work on. Now, this one is confusion effect. It doesn't last very long. And this one... Yeah, he's not important. This one, the damage is not very important. However, it does put a little disintegration effect that allows you to do 15% more damage Look, with your own attacks as well. I never imagined Which, and it also has a less, less of a cooldown, so I prefer this one. That it really doesn't use. matter. You know, the only thing that's really important with your, uh... I learned much from that with your hires or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, some of these corpses will have books in them too. Just information from Asmodon, which we don't really need to know about. But yeah, the uh... Oh, words and stuff. Um, What the hell was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Your defenses are nothing. Yeah, the, the skills aren't particularly important for the uh, your hires, except for any of the passive benefits that are, you know, alive and up at all times, because unfortunately with their skills, if they have cooldown, that doesn't mean they're, you know, if they have cooldown 15 seconds, that doesn't mean they spam it every 15 seconds. You can go down here as well, by the way, I believe. Yeah, head down here, take the bottom path, kind of closer to here now, I, I can take the bottom path. It doesn't really matter, both of them are about as long as the other one. And this just bypasses the whole upper area there. There's usually some champions around here somewhere. Please don't let them find me. Someone is hiding under there? I'm not sure about you, but I don't think I would hide under the corpses of demons. But that's just me. This almost always explodes sending up these guys, which they do a reasonable amount of damage, I guess, but they're usually dead, even without the additional gear relatively quickly, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. With everything you've got. Now, let's just kill some of those guys. Now, if you notice on my map here, is it gone? It's gone. Anyway, I... Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, the, the blue icon just indicates the uh, soldier that was talking before, the one that was hiding. If I talk to him, it'll, you know, We're either he'll give me a piece die. of dialogue, or he'll give me an item, which is always garbage. It just drops a random item. It's usually a, a blue one or a white one. Nothing to worry about. Or, you know, maybe he'll give me a little mini quest. There are a lot of soldiers that do that around here. This one is plot important. You must be the one that lit the signal fires. Help me free the recruits so they can raise this catapult. Over here. Over here. Yep. Follow me. <laughs> These guys, Excellent. which allows them to open the gate. While they rise the and now here, it's a crapshoot. If you're trying to do this quickly, you can bypass this entire area and not protect them. Sometimes it works and they'll be able to do it without the protection. 
Other times they won't. In this case, I might as well just stick around here so I don't have to come back, because that's kind of annoying. Basically, you're just trying to protect them so that uh, these guys can come over there, two over here, without getting themselves killed, and, you know, raise up the catapult. As you can see, we've got the catapult level there. Let's just set up a hydra there to help me out. You cover that side, I'll cover this side. Be a good little hydra now. I'm not sure how long the hydras last. They don't have a bar, as far as I can tell. I'm sure there's a, an additional skill, or a, a rune. Oh, I do have a rune, look at that. Splits... Uh... Eh, sure, why not? Let's try that. As soon as you change your skill, you'll notice here that it's got a charge time. So you won't be able to use it for a little while. I guess now it's dealing arcane damage instead. And it does more damage, too. Arcane damage is probably the better choice. I'm going to leave you to guard here, just respawn you there. And, yeah, you can spawn them. I'm sure one of the, uh, whatever it is, one of the uh, runes for the Hydra skill allows you to summon more than one. And we probably missed out on a piece of dialogue over there when we finished that. Again, none of the things that the soldiers really say in Act 3 are particularly important. The only reason I showed off some of what they said in you know, the first episode in this act was because I thought it was beneficial and would allow... Oh, they also shoot faster and more at once. That's vastly improved over the original. Hydra's not too bad, actually. Especially Scott report at that more of those wretched demon hellbearers will be here any moment. The soldiers need to be protected. The platform will rise more quickly if we don't lose men. Now, I don't know if you have to save these guys or not. I think you can bypass this one. I'm not 100% sure. However, guys are going to spawn. So I'm going to set you there to cover the two spots over there. I'm going to cover that spot. And there's another one right here. Eh, my hydra's got that. Maybe. Yeah, see, there's one that spawns there, one that spawns there, the one we saw here, and this one. Serve me. And there we go. Now you guys can do the rest on your own. After you kill those four spawn points, you don't have to wait there anymore. It doesn't matter how long it takes. You know, after that, nothing else will come as long as you don't leave any enemies lingering around. Here's another messenger. Uh, set up another Hydra there. Hydras are quite beneficial if you're trying to run through quickly. Now, these guys here are the ones, the Fallen Prophets. They are really annoying because they revive their Fallen Comrades, like a similar enemy did in uh, Act 1. Uh, and probably some kind of enemy does it in Act 2 as well, but I didn't go over it. But yeah, so you want to make sure you take them out, otherwise they will... Uh, of course I'm bloody well alone. Everyone else keep is going to die, enemies. but I'll be damned if I'll leave my post. Make yourself useful and spin that winch. Oh, right here. My mistake. I thought you came over here to help lift this catapult. I didn't realize you were here for the bloody scenery. Now, the thing here is if you don't keep clicking this, he will uh, continue to give really dumb lines over and over again. But uh, it's just faster if you just... You know, have one, like, especially if you're doing this in a party, you have one person kind of waiting here by this, and everyone else taking care of the enemies. It allows, you know, whoever's here to pay attention. Though, even if it's, uh, you know, even if you're, you know, doing this on a harder difficulty, you don't really need to worry about it. You can stand here and still deal some damage to most of the enemies around here, and you won't be too distracted. That is a lot of corpses. Done. I uh, promised Captain Ho I'd watch my temper. Do me a favor, and don't mention that I shouted at you a little, all right? Sure thing, buddy. And we get was complete. Tinkered with your paltry catapults, my demons breach the depths of your keep. Once they've claimed the Black Soul Stone for me. Your entire world will burn. I'm 
getting really tired of you, Asmodan. Asmodan's demons have opened an enormous hole in our walls and are flooding into the depths. If it is not closed, the keep will be overrun with demons. Their corpses should serve to seal the breach after I've killed them all. And oddly enough, oh, here, this is interesting too. Has he agreed to send us reinforcements? My lord says he will send no living men to battle imaginary demon lords. Perhaps he'll believe when his kingdom is burnt to ashes around him. Yeah, we got a little, little exchange between Tyrael and one of the soldiers. Now you can always come back down here every once in a while and do a couple things. Sometimes there'll be a new book there. Other times, this stone is vibrating. I can barely hold it. Their voices. There's. Screaming in my head. Is she strong enough for this? She must be. Clearly, the stone wasn't built to contain six demon lords indefinitely. Only Leah's will holds it together. Take courage, Leah. Asmodan's time grows short. I wish we could do more for Leah. Maybe I could hold the stone together for a while. No. Leah knows Herodric magic. You don't. Very well. Yeah, I guess each of the, uh, the hires have different little pieces of dialogue when it comes to that. But yeah, there's there's interesting things the to demons go. Are in the keep. They're coming yeah. up from the depth. They've already to invaded arms. the entire to keep. Arms. Basically, this is the top layer of the keep, as you can see. There are the walls and all the stuff going on out there. Everything in here is infested with demons. And there's always a book over here where we can hear a familiar voice. Many centuries ago, King... Yes... We have more things from Cain to hear. Because stay a while and listen wasn't annoying enough. <laughs> Anyone who played the uh, second game will know that line fairly well, since he never says anything without first saying that. Ooh, you slaughter. dare attack me! Another interesting area. There's a little side quest here. Might as well do this. Our lads are fighting with blades held to hilts by bits of string. They need better weapons if we are going to survive. Watch my back while I work. Basically, the idea here is he's going to do some foraging around here, and I'm going to let my Hydra hold off the skeletons in the meantime. Of course, this leads to a special little I'm mini heading boss. to the anvil. Stay at my side. Okay, I'll stand over here. Just resummon them there. The reason I keep resummoning him is so he doesn't, you know, run out. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. most of the little mini quests around here aren't particularly challenging. There's a special dude, he's gonna blow up, and does some damage to me. Now, I've never let him get hit very much, but I'm assuming if he gets hit too much, he will die or something. And done. You've saved a lot of lives today. Thank you. No problem. And we get some extra experience and some extra gold. And if you talk to him, and we're lucky, we'll get a random rare item. If you ever encounter a merchant in any of the fields, he has a chance of having a rare item. This is different. It doesn't really help me, but, you know, it's there. You won't always have it, but sometimes. Anyway, that's all I really need to do around here. I don't think there's anything... Yeah, there's nothing down there. Usually, well, there are certain situations. If you've gone through a long series of this area and you encounter him toward the top right, so you'll want to follow this road around here and this will lead up to an now. exit. Uh, but, of course, that's not the case this time. And I'm going to try not going that way. Let's see if I can go this way. Uh, this... I think I went the wrong way. I need to go all the way back down there. Unfortunate, but it's not that far away, I guess. It's unfortunate when you get to some of the later areas. They don't... A lot of the... Like, especially the areas in the keep here are notoriously hard to find your way through because there are quite a few incarnations of it, and they're all relatively confusing. There we go. Yeah, I can take care of the rest. 
The only problem with leaving a Hydra to take care of the rest is you may miss out on any of the drops. So, during your first playthrough, I don't recommend leaving, you know, the Hydra there after you've gone. Just kind of use it as a, uh, a helper, you know. It's not like they're going to absorb any hits for you, but at least they'll be there to, uh, you know, deal some extra damage. Now this looks like the wrong way. Yeah, that's the wrong way. Uh, I guess I have to go down. I'm not getting very lucky with this area. Oh, I'm almost leveled again, which will allow me to equip some new equipment, which will be beneficial, of course. And many, many, many doors. My and level. And I got some new gloves, which have pretty much all around better stats, except for no attack speed, unfortunately. And I have some new armor, which I will throw on afterward, because uh, I don't want to go back to town and unsocket it right now. And that's a dead end, but it does have one of these, which I have contains been... more information on the Barbarians, which is, of course, side story and not part of the main plot, so skip that. Basically, just because I, if I waited and stopped every time there was some dialogue and, you know, said nothing, I wouldn't be saying much through this series, and some may argue that I'm not saying all that much anyway, and you're probably right. But... I do want to be able to say something. Otherwise, YouTube will come after me with their automatic content claiming service. I'm not angry. I'm not bitter. I'm extremely angry. And extremely bitter. Not that it personally affects me. As I'm sure you guys have noticed, I took the all ads off my videos anyway. Considering the amount of views I get and wouldn't have made much difference anyway. Um, but... There are a lot of people I've talked to on YouTube that are not having fun with this right now. And of course, this is being, you know, filmed before Christmas, so I don't know are if nothing. YouTube is on the ball and getting it fixed by then, though I highly doubt it. Yeah, if, um, remember that situation I was saying where the merchant, I think, was down there? Would you go Just away? I never imagined such a creature. It would be about this far in where we are now, and the merchant might be around here. If that was the case, then we'd head straight up here, and this would be the exit. So, ah, look at that. It's still the exit, though the merchant is in a different place. Waypoint is always at the end of this area, and this the leads to insidious. the second area. They will stop at nothing in order to seize this keep, and all the world with it. I'm just warming up. Wow, that's an end. Wow. Yeah, your uh, disintegration beam is also very useful for taking out large groups. And more kamikaze guys. These guys blow up. Hurry up and blow up already. Yeah, there you go. I wanted him to blow up on me because I didn't expect it to kill me, but I just wanted to show it off. My luck is, is it would have killed me. Now here, you can open those up, though it's not super apparent that you can, so just make sure you know that that's there. Sometimes it's the only way to lead to the next area. Let's see, go all the way across maybe? Again, this place, whoa, Jutter. Yeah, it, it, it's similar to a lot of other games. If you get stuck in a you certain spot, me. then, you know, and you're trying to run against it, and the game can't figure out how to make you run in the direction you're trying to run, then it'll screw up and judder. Those big guys there that we just saw, they, as soon as you hit them once, or almost every time you hit them once, they will go into a... Um, an invincible or a nearly invincible state so you want to make sure you avoid wasting lots of arcane power or you know similar um, character specific skills won't be down there yeah so see partly invincible and then he gets back up when he you know hunches in on himself like that an armadillo that's when he's invulnerable for a little while eh, let's use another skill i have ascended you have ascended. I already made that joke. I can't make it again. No Super Saiyans in this game. Let's see here. 
Oh boy, getting turned around already. Let's try the upper path now instead. Ow. Go away. Slaughter more enemies. Whee! It's an interesting spell to use. Unfortunately, it just uses up too much arcane power, as you see, and I don't have the regeneration to really make use of it effectively right now. It's benef more beneficial for boss fights than it is Your for anything else. Are nothing. And again, like I was telling you before, explosive bolts is extremely useful, especially early game, but even late game to an extent. It depends on how high your difficulty level is when you're playing in terms of your, you know, the monster power, inferno, hell, nightmare, etc. Uh, there's some dead people around here. There's always dead people around here. Apparently, all pretty much all of the uh, people that were inside the heap are dead now. Yay, more items. Now, let's see here. Um, oh no, here come the kamikaze guys. Let's see. Normally, if you see a sequence like this, where, yeah, you can kind of see it there, you know, there's a door straight through and there's two paths on either side. A lot of times that will lead to the next area. Not every time. It's not a particularly Didn't good see that indicator coming, of did it. You? Ah. But it is one possible indicator. My and I leveled again. This, as I was saying about Act 3, Act 3 is extremely good for the amount of enemies in there. It also increases the difficulty by quite a bit. So if that's the case, then obviously we'll be leveling a lot faster too. Not to mention I also have the Kane's gear on now. Where is this enemy? I can't pick up anything I else. I can't pick up anything else. I've made it to the end of this area anyway. Yeah, this specific sequence here uh, where you can head up into an, a room like this and then take this side door when it's, you know, a lot, pretty far to the north of the map, then that's pretty good chance that leads to the exit. Anyway, I'm just going to go back to town here and sell some stuff or uh, salvage it and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And while I was off there, I managed to put on my... Uh, my armor, my heart of iron there. Uh, it's got some resistances in there, which, you know, as we have saw before, is also influenced by intelligence there. So I've got almost 100 all resistances, which is, I guess, all right for this point in the game. I don't really know. You can't get gear with all resistances until, like, the upper 50s in terms of the level requirement of the gear, so. And I also have this weapon, which is more damage than the one I'm currently using. However, it's also faster, which I, again I like, but I lose the movement speed. And the movement speed I find is more important at this point. You know, if you were, you know, not running through the game as fast as I am, it wouldn't be as much of an importance, I don't think. However, I'm going to wait until I can equip these at level 33, and then I will swap in the bracers as well as the dagger, and then I'll do more damage without having to lose the speed movement speed there. Yeah, once you find this big open area, the hole there, we've reached the breach. You're too late. My servant is already inside your walls, and his hunger is ravenous. He will devour your corpse and those of your friends. Yeah, good luck with that. Even your brother failed. How do you expect to survive when he did not? He was hiding right in front of me the whole time. That's another thing about uh, Belial, you know, it, it it's pretty apparent that, you know, the child seems evil. However, even if the child seems evil, you know, if you listen to things that Tyrael and uh, Thea and Adria say, you know, they're willing to trust him because they have no choice, and then you go into the area, you know, all of three minutes Look, later, and they well, say, yeah, oh, we already knew that you were that all along. They just kind of hide it from the player for some reason, and I don't know why. 
Let's see if we can head through here. Now, there, this is a sequence you'll see a lot in this area. Uh, in, especially in a lot of areas that are inside keeps and stuff like that in this game. There's a lot of side dungeons as well. You'll be able to come down here and there'll be this stretch here. It'll loop down this way and it'll lead into this and then the, the way out goes over this way. That's not universally a sign that you're going the right way, but most of the time, as from my experience anyway, it means you're going the right way. Like I said, it's not every time, but a, a good percentage of the time, this means you're going the right way. Didn't see that coming, did or at you? least not going to a dead end. And of course, because us. the game hates me, the this time we're cup. going to a dead end. That That's great, game. Thank you very much. Make me look like a jackass. Which isn't that hard to do now that I think about it. Just go back and watch some of my early videos, and I'm sure you'll uh, be yelling at the screen, making fun of me. Which is odd, because I wanted to do this for, you know, make videos, specifically gameplay videos, for quite a while before I actually made my first one. And one of the things that kind of put me over the edge in wanting to make, um, you know, Let's Plays, was that I saw other Let's Players do games, and I was yelling at the screen the whole time, like, what is wrong with you? You're an idiot. Do this, do this, do this. And then I get around to actually doing it, and either I can do, oops, either I can do the, uh, you know, the video game part of it, or I can do the commentary part of it to some degrees of success, or, yeah, but I can only seem to do one of them at a time. You know, for the majority of this particular series, you know, there hasn't been a whole lot to talk about as far as plot goes, and that's where I find I have the best ability to actually make some interesting lines is when we're talking about, you know, the plot. Now, here, to get off topic again, because you know, God knows I love to do that, as soon as you find a big, wide hallway like this that's going straight, that's your exit from the keep level three, so make sure you go after that. And this video is running long, and as you can see, there's the arrow. We know we're going the right way now. Let's slaughter some more of these guys. And set up some hydras to your enemy so I can just run by. But yeah, that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Diablo 3. Next time we will continue into the larder and face whoever Asmodan has sent against us. Anyway, that's all for this episode and I'll see you guys next time.